Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dr. Sia channel. In the video here today, we're going to be talking about avoidant attachment and the overall kind of story that a person with avoidant attachment has in their own mind. We call this a narrative. So I hope this video is useful to you. Let's get started. All right, so what's this overall story that an avoidant attachment person has in their mind? What's the narrative that runs, runs through their mind? Now, this is the key narrative that runs through the mind of a person with avoidant attachment. If you can spot this key narrative with your patients, with your friends, with your partner, within yourself, it will be extremely helpful to you because you can understand how to better support your patient, better support your friend, better support your partner, and how you can better be supported as well. The key narrative in avoidant attachment that runs through their mind is this. You can come to me, but I cannot come to you. I have to keep walking away, and best case scenario, others can come to me. Being open means being vulnerable. Being shut off means being safe. This is the strongest, most predictive narrative that I've found with everybody who has an avoidant attachment. I have yet to see a single person who has an avoidant attachment where this, these series of narratives, I suppose, have not been true. So what do I mean by you can come to me, but I can't come to you? In essence, that means that you can be strongly emotional around me. You can have your feelings. I'll support you, but I can't come to you if I have something negative emotionally going on for me. You can declare all of your love and affection to me, but I can't really declare my love and affection to you in the same way. You can try to bond with me, develop a relationship with me, marry me, and I might give in, but I can't pursue that with you. I can't pursue you, right? And then there's this idea around openness means vulnerability. Well, when you've been criticized just about your whole childhood, every time you've tried to get close to your own attachment figures, meaning your mom and dad or caretakers, and they've hurt you, you learn over time that getting close to people and being open with people means that you're going to be harmed, means that you're going to be hurt. So people with an avoided attachment believe that openness is equivalent to vulnerability, to hurtability. But of course, this is not the truth. In fact, what science shows is that people with an avoidant attachment are hurt by not being open. They are more vulnerable by being closed off. So if you can kind of understand these patterns and understand what goes on for a person with an avoidant attachment, you will be better able to help them. If you don't remember anything else from this video and you just remember this, a person with avoidant attachment believes that when they are hurt, that they have to solve themselves figure themselves out, and nobody else can be there for them. Now, if you can help them realize that you can be there for them, well then, you're doing a great service to the person who has an avoided attachment, and you're doing a great service to yourself, because you'll feel like you'll much, be much better able to connect with that person. I hope this video was useful to you. I hope you got something out of it. If it was useful, please press that like button, because it does help my videos become more visible on YouTube. Thank you so much. See you again next time. Oh,